Hi Capricorn, welcome to your weekly reading. I'm going to be taking a look at your immediate past, present, and future, pulling some advice for you as well as the outcome. This is general. It may not resonate for everyone. If it does, go ahead and hit that like button. If you haven't already, subscribe to my channel as it helps me to pick up on your energy for all future reads. Please remember that time is fluid, so this could be something that happened in your past, currently in your present, or coming up in your future. Roles can be reversed, so take what applies to you, the person on your mind, your situation, and leave the rest. At the end of your reading, I will be pulling an oracle message from the Earth Alchemy Oracle deck to give us some more insight, guidance, and clarification on your situation. So let's go ahead and jump right in. All right, Capricorn. Capricorn, please. Whoa. There's a lot of fire coming out in your reading. It's not a bad thing, but hold on. Let's see what's going on. Ah, okay. This is definitely, I see friendships and just relationships that are not working and there needs some recognition to that. Um, some of these relationships are very special to you. And it might not be that easy to just give them up if it's family or like very close friends, but whoever this is, they create a lot of drama and there's something about not being able to take a stand against this person, um, but you need to. That's what you're like, you need to, <laughs> it comes out as. So in the immediate past, we have the six of wands and everything was going really well for you. I like the six of wands because it's you getting the recognition that you deserve being in the spotlight and everyone just like, oh my gosh. So victory all around you, but currently not feeling that way. So the seven of wands coming out in reverse. So not being able to find the courage to stand up for what you want. Other people have lots of opinions and you feel like you can't tell them certain things or you're just trying to it's like the people that have a lot of opinions you're like oh okay but you try not to let it bother you but it does bother you a little bit and it's just like what the heck happened here now if this was a victory and getting recognition from someone in your past you're not feeling that you're strong enough to stand up against this person in the present situation in your immediate future though we have some drama happening with five of wands and there's competition um if this is someone that you're in a relationship with and you were getting attention from them in the past but feeling a lack of currently you know you should not have to fight for this person in the immediate future if they are wanting you to fight for them in a sense of wanting like if Capricorn cares about me then Capricorn needs to see that um I'm worth fighting for so it's almost like they're creating jealousy or trying to create a sense of jealousy by having other people that want them and wanting you to to fight harder for them that's a that's a form of control and manipulation it's not good so um your advice here is this just isn't working out these relationships are broken um they don't have a strong foundation so four of wands in reverse is saying this is a false twin flame you know or this is a relationship whether it's friendships or romantic or family there's a lack of support there and there the foundation is not strong and so the outcome here is the knight of wands if things continue the way that they're going you have inconsistency with somebody who's not very serious they keep running back to broken relationships or they keep running back to i'm gonna say it like this like they can't commit to you because they keep running back to like the brokenness of a relationship i don't know if that is someone specifically or just the way that they view relationships like i'm running so there's a lot of fire here i don't even see your energy anywhere so it really feels like somebody else is taking over your reading <laughs> let's go ahead and start clarifying we're going to start with a six of wands in your immediate past here Okay, so the Six of Wands is clarified by the Three of Wands, the Hangman, and the Three of Cups, as well as the King of Cups at the bottom of the deck. So getting attention and recognition in your immediate past here, and things were really progressing for you. Um, you felt like things were moving forward, and 
but there's something about being in limbo with how things are going with you and this person. Um, Three of cups, you know, it could be like I'm meeting new people and this is great and everything and everything's progressing for me. But what you're having here with this person with this three of cups is a good time. And that's what you were questioning. You weren't seeing this as the king of cups. You weren't seeing this as I really trust this person. Um, something about they like to go out and party. Um, you're not so much of that partier. Like you enjoy socializing with certain people, but you don't need a bunch of people. <clears throat> and there's also the fact of uh, a third party being involved and it doesn't have to be a romantic situation. It could be their friends are involved in your business and someone's not taking a stand against, you know, friends or whatever. And this is really not coming out as your energy here other than you feeling in your heart that something is not really working out in the immediate past that even though you're getting that attention, um, sometimes you have to wait on this person because they put their their friends above you or, you know, other things as priority above you, especially when you two have plans. And yeah, let's go ahead and clarify that seven of wands in reverse for your current situation. Okay. So yeah, in the past, you know, you knew that you got yourself in this situation and yeah, it was fun, but it wasn't exactly what you were looking for. And at this point, you're just giving up. Like you want to move on to other choices, options, and you want recognition. You feel like you're not getting it from this person and you are taking the time. Yeah. So it's not taking a stand to fight for, I don't see it as you listening to other people's opinions and going off of what they're telling you. This is more so of you just giving up the fight in this situation. Like, why should I keep trying with somebody who things aren't progressing towards a real relationship? I'm looking for real love or I'm looking for someone to be very supportive. I'm looking for someone I can count on the way that they would count on me. And so giving up in this situation, moving on towards other choices, options, and, you know, um, for recognition. It's like you have other options out there and people that recognize you or want to be in your life and want to show you the attention you deserve. Seven of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck is telling me that you really looked at this and it just isn't growing the way that you were hoping. It isn't flourishing to that 10 of Pentacles. This isn't someone that you feel you can build a commitment with long term. You feel like this is a short term a situation and that you're not going to constantly be waiting on someone to show up and leaving you in limbo and making you question about where things are going between the two of you because you were getting their attention at first then things changed and it's just it feels like a fight back and forth of you giving and receiving little from this person let's go ahead and clarify this five of wands for your immediate future that's where i see the drama coming in Mm -mm. okay so there it is it is the drama it's a lot of drama so it's the fact that this person is wanting you to compete with others there's other competition when it comes to relationships and wanting you to compete and make a decision but being very strategic in how they show off or show things this person wants to win at every cost but they are playing games with you in this immediate future um this person creates a lot of drama and it, i see it as the same person they just are really heavy in your energy you letting go and moving on and trying to get recognition from somebody else they want to come back and fight for a relationship but then they make a choice and decide to lie to you um and deceive you it's like they want to be with you just to break you down so you know they lie cheat, steal, whatever it is. They're just being very strategic in how they do this. They're also trying to show you that other people want them too. That's fine, whatever. But this person just cannot stand to have their ego hurt. They need to win at all costs. They don't care who it hurts in the end because they're mad and they're playing games with you. This person coming back, if they start to fight for your attention, they're not in it forever. They lie. They, it's, this person just does not feel like a very mature person to be in a relationship. They have some things they need to work on. Um, we all do, but this person is really back and forth with you. Let's go ahead and clarify this four of wands in reverse as your advice. Okay. 
Yeah, this relationship here is very broken. It's not working out. And in your advice, it's saying that this cannot be healed or mended. You've waited long enough. You've practiced a lot of patience with the temperance card, the world card, and then the eight of wands. The universe, God is pushing you. You are feeling that push to believe this situation. So your advice coming out is saying you've waited long enough. It's time to close that chapter and move on quickly. And, you know, there's more abundance in love. Like when you move on quickly, that Ace of Cups comes out as a new, you know, a rebirth here of new abundance, new love, new relationships, but also putting that, you know, that love back into you. Um, but moving on quickly is going to bring in um, a lot of abundance for you. So let's clarify this Knight of Wands for the outcome. It's just, yeah, I see a lot of chasing here and you're not chasing this person, but this person's very inconsistent. So the outcome, if everything continues the way that it is, this person's going to still be this knight of wands. And I see a player in a sense of they're inconsistent. They don't know what they want. They're not ready to make these big, bold changes because they run as fast as they can. Um, they're like, I don't chase anybody. They chase me. Um, but this person creates a lot of drama in relationships because they don't know how to meet people halfway or value a relationship fully. And so they want to have fun for the moment, but then they just disappear. And so the hermit at the bottom of the deck is just saying, you know, recognize that this person is here for the moment, but they're not staying very long. They just want to have fun. They want to be in control. They want to create, it's like they want you to miss them and then they stop talking to you. And so, um, you just don't need that. There's just too much trauma with all of that. And this is just, this feels like such a false twin flame, um, situation. This person was important to you and you thought things were going very well in the past and it was, it was fun while it lasted, but that's probably what I'm going to title. This is fun while it lasted, but you are moving on to something better and you just don't want, you know, someone who's going to lie, someone who's going to be indecisive in your life. I understand. Oh, I like the card that came out for you. So your Oracle messages that came out Capricorn. The first one is Mama Cacao and Rodenite. Oh my gosh. I love like cocoa beans. Okay. Um, heart opening. It says heightened sensitivity, unifying high on love. And that's exactly what you should feel. Um, high on love, unifying. It should feel really good. Go ahead and enjoy some chocolate too. If you... <laughs> if you haven't, but heightened sensitivity. So it feels like you're opening the doors to some more spiritual awakenings in your life. And you're going to recognize what is good love for you. What is a wonderful relationship for you and what is not. Um, and rose quartz and olive tree, it says alchemy of love, peace offering, compassion, and Venus energy. Okay. Just remember that the love you put into a situation is what you will get out of it. And so the more you work on how you love yourself and put that out into the world, you're going to attract that right back. Not only that, you have other options, people wanting to be around you. Um, but this person doesn't like that. So they come back just to kind of create this like, oh, you're going to miss me. It just feels so narcissistic or just very immature. Um, they have some things that they need to work on. And like I said, it just might not have been the right relationship the way that it's coming out because it can't be fixed. It's time to close that chapter and move on. There's better things ahead for you. So this is what I have for you, Capricorn. If it resonates, hit that like button. I will see you in your next reading coming up. Have a good rest of your day. Bye.